instead always asking me for uh, FaceTime. After going through one of the worst relationships in 90 Day Fiancé history, I think we've all been hoping that Rose would find her happiness and make a better life for her and her son. And now, years later, we finally have some answers about how Rose is doing. She's dating a much older man again, and she might even be moving to an entirely new country. Guys, you will never believe what her life is like now. So even though Rose's time on 90 Day Fiancé was awful because of Ed's behavior, something incredible happened because of it. She and Ed were one of the most viral and recognizable cast members at the time, and the amount of fame that she got from being on the show was insane, and Rose's popularity skyrocketed because of 90 Day Fiance, and she's been using that to completely change her life forever. So before, she'd been working with her family at their shop, but they still weren't able to get out of poverty, but now, Rose has several different streams of income that are just a really honestly impressive and it seems like she's using it all to take care of her entire family so Rose does bring in money as an influencer now because she has well over 600,000 Instagram followers and she regularly promotes a range of products and brands and companies in her posts but her career has taken off and in another way that was absolutely unreal so at the end of 2021 she announced on her Instagram that she was ready to share her life's next chapter with everyone and what she revealed was a phenomenal Phenomenal step for her future. So Rose opened her own shop that specializes in selling dry groceries, and she even named the shop after her son, Prince's Store. And the big news that she shared next was so bizarre because Rose decided to collaborate with an aesthetic center to promote skin treatments, which wasn't a huge shock because you know appearing on TLC had made her very famous in the Philippines, and Rose's modeling career has gone through the roof. And she's posted behind-the-scenes pictures from many of her photo shoots, and she. She's been the face of, you know, several beauty brands and cosmetic lines and even cell phone companies. But there's still another way that Rose makes money and it's honestly pretty surprising. So thanks to the big audience that she has from the show, Rose's YouTube channel now has over 700,000 subscribers and she frequently uploads vlogs about her family and her daily life and her vacations. And the comments on her videos are honestly pretty overwhelming because despite not returning to 90 Day Fiance for anything other than just brief check-ins, Rose is definitely still one of the most famous people to ever come out of 90 Day Fiance and because of that she completely supports herself and Prince and in 2021 their little family reached a kind of huge milestone so believe it or not Rose is able to buy a nice spacious house for herself and Prince and she's thanked her fans many times for their support which definitely helped her be able to afford the house and in Rose's vlog about her new home the difference between it and you know that and her old house is just crazy because on their season of 90 Day Fiance, Ed was completely thrown off by her house and it was kind of a huge plot line about their relationship because it didn't have any flooring and it didn't really have any roof, you know, protection or anything. And we all saw how Ed just freaked out over it. But now Rose's new home is a totally different story. Like the house is amazing and it, you know, keeps her and Prince safe from all the crazy weather that they sometimes get and the possibility of running out of water and electricity. But the house also has a lot more than just the basics because Rose's new house is is complete with two bathrooms, TVs, a full-on kitchen, and a full, you know, furnishing. And she and Prince even have their own bedrooms. But Rose also owns another type of property now, and you will never guess what it is. So Rose also purchased 12 acres of land near the mountains to use as a new farm for herself and her family. And at the very end of 2021, Rose started hinting about a new romance. And not long after, she shared a video of her holding hands with an unknown guy, and she wrote in the caption that she had found the one, but it wasn't until last summer that Rose finally revealed her secret. So in an episode of 90 Day Diaries, Rose introduced her new man, Greg. He is a 54-year-old wealthy real estate company owner from Australia, and needless to say, he seemed to be a huge improvement from Ed, and kind of honestly in more than one way. So Greg seemed much more invested in both Rose and Prince than Ed ever was. And although the bar wasn't set, you know, very too high, but he even taught Prince how to 
a skateboard, and obviously a lot of people did question the age difference, including myself, but Rose addressed it pretty quickly, and she made it clear that Greg's age didn't matter to her, and she explained that the level of respect that he had shown her and her family was far more important than anything, and that wasn't all, because compared to Ed's reaction to the Philippines, there was a startling difference in how Greg seemed to view the country and the culture, and he had no problem helping out Rose's dad at the pig farm and how he interacted with the rest of the family was just kind of astonishing because one of Rose's YouTube vlogs highlighted moments from Greg's visit to the Philippines and he seemed just really down to earth. I mean, he was humble when he met Rose's family and he seemed eager to help out however he could and Greg and Rose's relationship seemed to be pretty serious. So what happened next was honestly just unexpected because last December, after dating Greg for a year, Rose announced that she was no longer in a relationship with him and she revealed the sad news in one of her YouTube videos, but she didn't share much about why they decided to call it quits. But before long, Rose had another surprise, and that was in January, Rose started posting photos of herself in Australia. And she did not explain if she was back with Greg or not, but her latest YouTube videos and Instagram posts are kind of telling because ever since February, Rose has been spending a lot of time in Australia. Not only that, but a lot of her posts are promoting Greg's real estate company, and Greg has also been leaving supportive and sometimes kind of even a little bit flirty comments on Rose's photos. So it really seems like they are back together. And a lot of people are now speculating that Rose is in the process of maybe even moving to Australia, which is kind of interesting because many of Rose's followers are hopeful that she's happy with Greg and that if she does move to Australia, Prince will be able to join her quickly. But if there's a possibility that Greg and Rose are engaged or might be soon, that could lead to a life-changing situation. And Rose has made it clear that she can support herself basically wherever because of the content she creates and her modeling gigs. But if she's moving to Australia, there may be a chance that she and Greg could appear on a 90 Day Fiance spinoff in the future. And there have definitely been rumors going around about Rose and Greg potentially returning to TLC. But because Rose hasn't officially confirmed that she and Greg are back together, it's unlikely that we'll know anything for at least a little while. But either way, Rose has completely changed her and her son's lives for the better since dumping Big Ed. And she has honestly come such a long way in such a short amount of time. So it'll be interesting to see what she decides to do next and if any part of her future will be filmed by the TLC cameras. But what do you guys think and what do you think about the changes that Rose has made in her life since leaving Ed? And if she and Greg will actually, you know, appear on a 90 Day Fiance, would you watch it? I absolutely, without a doubt, definitely would. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below.